and I'd love to introduce Thomas from the Enable team. Congratulations, the Ethereal Best in Show prize winners. Please welcome Thomas. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Thomas, and I'm here to talk about Enable, which is a decentralized lending platform that my team and I built as part of the Ethereal Hackathon. So first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the Ethereal Hackathon and the organizers of Ethereal Summit for putting on these amazing events. Um, so we... What did I do here? Uh, I must have something. That makes sense. So we were a distributed team, um, and unfortunately the rest of my teammates weren't able to make it today. So Daniel and Ines are currently in Indonesia, uh, Anthony is in Lagos, Nigeria, and myself am from San Francisco. So the idea for Enable came about because of a problem Ines is facing right now. Uh, Ines is an HR executive at an Indonesian firm, an Indonesian citizen, and uh, she recently got accepted to Cornell University um, for a master's program, which is an amazing opportunity, uh, and she needs to raise $60,000 by June 15th in order to make this happen. So, you know, she has a great credit history, credit score in Indonesia, um, good job, but had a lot of trouble raising money. So one option she looked at was finding domestic loans in Indonesia, but these had a lot of problems. One is extremely high interest rates for unsecured loans. Uh, two is that the access to capital is not really there to begin with. It's hard to get a loan above a few thousand dollars. Uh, another point is that uh, there are really large origination fees on these loans, like that could eat up 3 to 5% of your loan. And in addition to that, the international money transfer process um, can eat up another 5% in getting the money from Indonesia to the States. So this didn't really work out. And another option she looked at was finding loans in the United States. But as a non-citizen with no credit history in the, in the United States, Ines wasn't able to get good loans here either. Uh, the least worst option were these cross-border lenders, which still have pretty high interest rates, high fees, and she can only get about 40% of what she needs from them. So that didn't work out either. Um, so basically we found that credit is pretty broken when you're dealing with crossing borders, and a lot of people just don't have access to good credit markets in their local area. So Enable is a global credit marketplace that uses a decentralized identity and credit scoring system to enable people around the world to get access to capital from anywhere. Uh, so a brief overview of how it works. Uh, users can create requests for stablecoin based loans with variable terms like interest rate, tenor, and grace periods. And then potential lenders can look at those, look at data about the borrower, and choose to participate or not. It has a kind of, cr there's a, crowdfunding-esque model. Um, we focused on USDC as the first stablecoin to work with. So the thing is, with just this loan part, you're essentially giving money to internet strangers, which if anyone remembers these uh, fake Twitter accounts from back in the day, has, has had some issues. So we need a source of like decentralized, trusted identity. Uh, which is a really tricky problem, but we were able to leverage some existing solutions in the space here. So Bloom is a protocol for this, among other things, and they allow users to create blockchain-based identities and tie in things like social media accounts, phone numbers, and emails, have them verified out there, and as well as have trusted providers attest to things such as the validity of their government documents on chain. Uh, it's a live app, it's got mobile apps, and it has a rapidly growing user base. And we also allow users to integrate other Ethereum-based identity providers, such as 3Box, to increase uh, the strength of their identity profile. So decentralized credit score system also takes heavy, heavy influence from Bloom. Uh, Bloom allows for financial attestations where past lenders can verify financial data that's happened on the blockchain. We also wanted people to be able to leverage relationships in their credit scores. So we have a mechanism called you social staking where essentially if... Uh, Creditworthy individuals are willing to stake their own score on your loan performance in the future, uh, that might increase lenders' confidence. So we just want to have a really robust set of data for potential lenders to work with when they evaluate uh, candidates. So in the interest of time, I kind of already mentioned this stuff about the crowdfunded loans and everything's on chain. A big problem here is that so we want borrowers to be able to share data with lenders but we also want this data to be decentralized and we also want it to be private. So the way we solve this problem is client encrypted data stored on IPFS via OrbitDB and then the Merkle root of this data is stored on chain with the appropriate signatures and 
basically what this system is allows is for data privacy and like selective sharing of data with lenders and then the lenders can verify the authenticity on chain. So how we're different from other solutions? When compared against traditional loan providers, Enable is global as opposed to other things which work in local markets and a lot of local markets are just not served very well and international lending brings its own hurdles. Existing projects uh, for crypto lending are more focused on collateralized loans and anonymous loans. We were wanting to go for something unsecured and based in real world identity. So before I conclude, I have a couple requests from my teammates. So Daniel is a founder of loan companies in emerging markets. He also has a technical background and he's very interested in going all in on DeFi. So he's looking to get involved with open source projects or projects in the space or in an engineering role as he learns the decentralized technologies. Then Ness, as I've mentioned, is an HR executive. Uh, she knows firsthand the problems that exist in many markets with, with credit markets and financing, and she wants to make her dream to go to Cornell happen. So if anyone has any like information or potential offers in that area, I'm sure she would love to hear about that. So you guys can follow our project on GitHub. And basically with Enable, we believe that uh, access to credit helps unlock human potential across the world and would like to play a role in increasing that. So thanks everybody and uh, enjoy your ethereal.